morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye and welcome back to Paradigm. I don't know how to get into this guy's house. Um, let's go use his space dust sign. Garbod signs. Is there nothing you can't do? <laughs> uh, maybe solve the world's problems? Strange part like spaceship. It looks like some sort of uh, spherical spaceship. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Where is there a Japanese spaceship in here? I don't know, man. I, I don't think I can do anything else with any of the rest of this. So, I'm just going to move on. Also, people pointed out that the dude's, like, his journal entry said that it was 420, or the 20th of the 4th. Now we're going up here. Fuck Dude. yeah! What a tune! Ugh, what is that thing in the top right? Look at me, it's so tiny! Jesus, we have a pigeon up here. <laughs> pigeon up here listening to some fat beatsies. Also, is the entire game based around me trying to make fat beatsies? Am I constantly making my way towards making more fat pizzas? The mountains, let's look at. They say on Kropolaya lives Baba Yaga's witches. Really though, they are just old ladies who can't afford retirement taunts. <laughs> this thing is just belching at me. I also like how it says not a drug dealer. Completely, totally not a drug dealer. Not a drug dealer. An ideal example of the pinnacle of concealment. Yeah. It would be like me putting up a sign outside my house saying Jacksepticeye does not live here. Um... Right. <laughs> uh, let, let's move forward. Good lord. Can you move any faster there, Paradigm? Great. A windy road for artistic effect. <laughs> yeah. No consideration for my fitness at all. I wish my diet did not consist entirely of coffee and cereal. Can you just fucking go? Keep walking. Yes, it's a long road, but how many roads must a man walk down before a tumor grows out of his head and starts talking to him? Apparently, not many, because that already happened. Why isn't fast travel implemented here? <laughs> Would you like to fast travel? Mm, yeah, make me walk. Oh, God. I feel like I'm in an old adventure game. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> Sorry, Paradigm. But I like jokes more than I like fast travel. So keep on going. There's a tower. Look at that. 100 men died building that tower. Nothing to do with the dangers of construction. It was mostly alcohol poisoning. <laughs> Still tragic, nonetheless. They died building this one specific tower. Uh, let's actually look at the house. Oversized mansion, pillars, fountains, and large surrounding walls. All dead giveaways for a drug dealer's house. However, the sign gives me second thoughts. <laughs> yeah, a drug dealer's house, so you know, like, an evil villain. It looks like a lair, it looks like somewhere James Bond would break into. This fucking pigeon is the best. I'm gonna call oh, you squawkers. Stairs? Yes! No escalator? Stairs! This isn't Rocky. I did not have the calves for this. Well, your calves are about to turn into cows. Get on up there. There we go. See? Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. Another belching bird. <laughs> I, I guess they can't fly. <laughs> Fucking baller, baby! Is that the bodyguard? I'm scary. You're fine, Paradigm. Don't worry about it. Stairs. Me too. Uh, let's check the really amazingly hidden camera and bush. It's a rare CCTV bush. It receives nutrients from invasions of privacy. <laughs> this game's alright, man. Ah, yes. The future of bodyguards. Cheap. Recyclable, and after you are finished, you can make some sweet blanket forts with it. Yeah! No was allowed. I, I want to make a fort. There's a dupe organizer here. Let's use it. This is from No Scam K. No Scam, really. Occupation Real Ghost. Hey, you there. Yes, you. This is for you, my dear friend. Para Gamer. I'm stuck inside this dupe organizer. Please help me get my soul out of here, otherwise I'll be stuck in here for all eternity. Just follow this link. 
Okay, and put in your credit card details and I'll be free. Clever. Please, friend, you are my only hope. After all, I will give you my inheritance valued at 330 million VCD straight into your check account. Can I actually click on the link? No, I can't even click on the link. I can click on a poop or a penis. Nah, sorry. I'm not really going to uh, invest in you. Uh, I'm not getting scammed, even though I said no scam. I admire their spherical nature greatly. Nothing like two big grassy balls. <laughs> what is this? Someone loves butts, apparently. Can I can I have the pocket oh. knife? I'm not sure if it's responsible to use a serrated spoon here. Maybe it will be handy somewhere else. Pick up. I've always wanted the Kush Army serrated spoon. Yes, take it. There oh, we go. I forgot these have a press to talk button. Oh, yes, the Mostrinoosh. Oh, yes, the Mostrinoosh. I don't know what he actually said. Was that actual real Russian? Yes, yes. I too love butts. My man. My, who doesn't love a good butt? Uh, let's use this. Hello? Paradigm tumor head guy, remember? I wonder if this works. Hello, Intercom. I want to speak to your master. I guess I have to press the button. Come I thought on. this was the future. Uh, hello, I have some cookies here to sell. I was hoping to get something for my back pain. Uh, do you have a cup of sugar, by any chance? Really love a cup of sugar. I would like a burger with a side of life-changing third eye opening drugs. Have you considered a new life insurance plan? I would like to purchase some space dust. Ah, uh, cookies. Hello. I have some cookies here to sell. I'm raising money to bring about the second apocalypse. And there are only two crush marks. That's a pretty good deal! I guess I'll just say all of them until I get the space dust. I was hoping to get something for my back pain. Hmm, nothing. Like some space dust! surgery it is. <laughs> Why do you go from getting something from your back pain to breast reduction surgery? Or like a burger with a side of life-changing, third eye-opening drugs. Also called a number two at McDonald's. I would like a burger uh, with a side of life-changing third eye-opening drugs. Damn. Now how am I supposed to write my deep and hard-hitting prog metal album? Uh, get good at time signatures. Have you considered a new life insurance plan? I recommend insuring yourself against dragons and goblin invasion. In Listen economy, to the man! You can never be too protected. He knows what he's talking about, dudes! Come on, with a guy with a giant tumor in his head lie to you? I don't think so. I would like to purchase some space dust? Go away. Space dust was never sold here. I mean, what space dust? I mean, <laughs> get off my premises, you filthy pig. My guard will kick you out if you try it. Willie! Your guard is clearly just a cardboard cutout with a speech bubble It's not even a speech bubble, it's a speech. Bollocks! You won't be saying that after he gives you a super insane paper cut. It's gonna hurt real bad, and when you finally think it's healed, it opens up again. Shit's super annoying. Well... As, as scary as that is, I still would like some space dust, please. I mean, um, some moon rocks. I'm not a cop. If I were a policeman, could I do this? I want to see what he does. If I were a policeman, could I do this? <laughs> Sorry, I was supposed to do something <laughs> that proved I was not a policeman. Well, if the goal was to look like a dickhead, you did it. <laughs> I used it even. So you do talk, and not only do you talk, but your statues to talk, and you're Jason Statham. <laughs> I was supposed to um, do something. We ran out of budget though. I didn't have enough for the explosions. I'm a part of a fat gangster hip hop group. Prove it. Yeah. Come on, yeah. I'm a rap guy and I rap and I rap, rap and rap, rapping guy. And, <laughs> and I. Uh, uh, rap, rap, rapity uh, rap. I'm rapping. That was terrible. <laughs> I don't believe you. Come on, that was pretty good. I hated the Police Academy movies. I cannot pick that one because nobody hates the Police Academy movies. They're good, family-friendly fun. I hated the Police Academy movies. No one hates the Police Academy movies. See? Except for maybe after number seven. Hmm. Maybe you are right. Yeah. They kind of got shit then. I am not a cop. 
I can do that too. I am not the droid you are looking for. Droid actually lives down in Crossfire. <laughs> Isn't this fun? Super fun! I, I'm always trying to pick the last one, or the one that I, I think will actually get me in, because I want to hear all the dialogue options. Look at me. Do you think I could even run after a criminal? <laughs> Policemen normally do the paperwork. Oh, I just meant I was unfit. <laughs> Wait. Do you think I'm fit? <laughs> all right already. Jesus. This is going nowhere. I'll tell you what. If you bring me the severed head of a policeman, I'll let you buy from me. Oh, isn't that pretty brutal? <laughs> Not if you're a gangster thug like me. Now he has a point. He has Jesus a point. Christ. I can't murder anyone. Who does he think he is? I can't even tell if a fly passive aggressively. <laughs> Maybe I can order a canned head of Ibeski. Ibeski? Uh, I don't have time for that. I guess I could go look around. I'm finally starting to remember where everything is. Flushing all that milk out of my system is letting me think clearly again. I could probably check my shop, uh, the junkyard, and or butt observatory. <laughs> ah, crying butt observatory! Look at it up there in the top I left! There was some local decapitations today. Yeah, we have my inventory. I have a serrated spoon. It actually was a serrated spoon. Where is it called a Krush army knife then? Um, I have to go to Butservatory. That's amazing. Hey, it's Morty. John's calling me. Hello, John. Hey, mate. It's me, John Three Thousand. Oh man, good eye. He hits it again. So one blocked me out last time. Yeah, it was me. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Anyway, been tuning this new bird. She wants me, hey. <laughs> Check out this sound box. She's like, mate. Super bonds are hot. Oh, God. I remember those sounds. Some of you who are too young won't remember those sounds. This was an actual mate, way of life. Sweaty, just listening to it. Can... Uh... Can you please leave me alone? Yes. Yeah, right. Just to be clear, if you don't get this floppy soon, the station is gonna melt down real soon. Oh, yeah. Everyone will blame you for millions of deaths for centuries to come. No biggie. Uh oh. Oh, that's not good. Uh oh. It actually might be too late. I had so many biddies to sober with. <laughs> I guess this is goodbye, Paradigm. Oh, jeez. Wait! So what? I oh god, his face melted off! Oh god, what just happened? Oh, just a little bit of hopper visual simulation I implanted into your brain via sound waves. Just wanted to emphasize this destroying the world thing, since I would die as well. <laughs> Not too keen on dying. Same. I feel an email would have been more appropriate. <laughs> yeah, well, boy. Boy. <laughs> Butt stains. Ew. What is this? Launch pad model. Cute. It is a little model launch pad of the bloody Krushkinov launch tragedy. Neat. <laughs> Neato. Turns out repairing magnification glasses is expensive. Although, I must say I'm impressed by this artist's research. <laughs> So the things are broken, it just has two pieces of paper taped on the other side. <laughs> Ooh, what's up here? Mountain castle. Oh, it's castle. There? He locked himself in there to prove some points. When, in reality, he is just a dick and no one wants to save him. That's fair enough. I know the type. Welcome to Krush Bat Observatory. It was commissioned during the neo lukewarm War as a representation of Neo-Soviet Union strength. To do a lot However, of squats. In secret, it was used as a cover for a missile silo. Oh. Primarily to thwart any spy's credibility. Upon telling their governments that the large genital sculptures were nuclear weapon facilities, they were left out of the service, allowing the Neo-Soviet Union to have the best missile offensive at the time. 
Yes, uh, we have this the Soviet symbol here just slightly changed. After their first fall, they decided to do some remarketing. They were on all the social media. Neo Lennon even had a Let's Play channel. <laughs> Until they fell again. Like, comment, and conform. <laughs> like, comment, and conform! <laughs> That's brilliant! Oh, I would end all my videos with that if it didn't get me in a lot of trouble. I also like that these are nuclear weapons facilities and you launch stuff out of the ass. That's, that's good comedy right there, people! I like there was a guy out there somewhere who thought oversized band-aids was a good business plan. Come, it's coming in handy. Also, why is there a speaker just in the ass? Don't touch state, but I want it. Ugh, I feel so dirty. Yeah. It is said that touching the butt gives you good luck. Mostly it makes your hands smell weird from <laughs> all the other people touching it. <laughs> Also, yeah, it's Morty's head from Rick and Morty. He's like the little ball sack face. It's so hard hitting and truthful. It's made me rethink all my motivations. Political I can't satire. wait to forget this in a few minutes. Right, so there's nothing here, it seems. Let, let's head out. Uh, junkyard or Paradigm Shop? I have a shop. It's a. Ow! Also, I have. Several questions! Oh, wow, it's the incredibly rare Eastern European paper airplane bird out in the wild. This is <laughs> truly a magical moment to be. Uh, heard. Paradigm! It looks like it uh, has some sort of message for I me. Think, I think it's just a, I think it's just a piece of paper. I think it's just a paper airplane, but whatever. What do I know? Sorry, paper airplane bird. I have to open you up. Two! Paradigm! Your life is in medium rare danger. Someone is after you. Mm. Medium rare danger. We are organizing your rescue. Hold tight. Paxed rebels. P.S. Can you give me some critiques on my vague warning message skills at Fight Club Best Movie at AOL.com? <laughs> I'm an unpaid intern at the Pax Rebels, trying to go full time rebel. Much appreciated. Okay. If I hold it too long, its mother won't take it back into the nest. I better not. Is that actually true, though? You always hear that people say. Oh, don't disturb the nest! The mother will actually smell you off it and then they won't come back to it. Is that actually true? Or do the birds just know that someone's been there by like some little disturbances or something? I don't know. Oh, yes. I'm gonna have the sexiest police costume. I thought you said the sexist police costume. Can I wear it? That would be a waste no. of a sexy police costume. Ooh! Mannequin head plus police helmet. Ha uh, ha ha! The cone! Talk to. Hello, strange cone guy who I have so far successfully avoided talking to. Hello, Don Cone based humanoid! <laughs> who are you again? Isn't that cone crushing your face? What's your origin story? I really need your mannequin. Can I please have it? Ah, just go through them all. Uh, who are you again? I am the cone. Trademarked. Did you really trademark it? Yes, originally I was cone underscore sexy underscore babe 69. <laughs> but the original died ironically in a traffic accident. God bless his cone soul. He looks like, um, Dr. Song from Tupperware Remix Parody. Isn't that cone crushing your face? The cone and I live as a symbiotic being. The sum of our parts stronger than any individual. I like it. Just em. like two cop partners starring in an 80s action slash comedy slash drama slash epic TV show. Also, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, poor guy. What's your origin story? I am mad to find out. Did you get really drunk, stumble down the street, put a cone on your head to be like, ah, oh, look at me, fuckers, I'm all drunk and I have a cone on my head. And then you like fell into a hole and smacked your face into it and now you can't get it off? You fell into a glue factory. Of course. What's your origin story? My mother was a cone. I don't think that's physically possible, but uh, go on. It was a forbidden relationship. <laughs> Needless to say, she was a terrible mother because of her lack of limbs. Hey! But I love her all the same. I also have a crippling, crippling fear <laughs> of the drivers. Yeah, makes sense. Thanks. Just because she has no limbs doesn't mean she's a bad mother. What's in the bum bag? Justice. <laughs> Seriously though, it's just a fashion accessory. He's not even real zips. I'm gonna say that from now on. If somebody says, hey, 
What, what are you uploading today? Justice! Rains from above! What is your weakness? Yeah, that's a great idea. I'll go around telling people my weaknesses all the time. I'll tell you my weakness when cones fly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> He's a funny guy, isn't he, Roller Manisha? Not as funny or handsome as you, though, the current trademark. I love you, darling. <laughs> Me too, he he he. So, you're saying if I want to take your mannequin, um, wife's head, I would have to take advantage of your only weakness, flying cones. Have you considered having some other weakness? Maybe checkers? I'm pretty good at checkers, and it could be a very exciting minigame. What? Never mind. <laughs> um, what if your weakness is serrated spoons? What if his weakness is fat beatsies and I have to rap my way out of this? I'm gonna have to bust out my rap skills again. I really need your mannequin. Can I please have it? What mannequin? That one over there. All I see is my wife. You're so handsome, the cone trademark. <laughs> I love how his name is the cone it's trademark. Going to be harder than I expected. God damn it. What did yeah. Oh, it's just the same thing again. Blah 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 Okay, so I have to find out his weakness. Please don't let me have to go to Paradigm Shop. You know, honestly, if I owned the cape, I would probably do the same thing every once in a while. Agreed. Can I it turn it off? It would be great to have at least even if it is an inanimate one. <laughs> However, I'll leave it be for it. Yeah, the cone trademark has his biggest fan always here. J Mads the cone. Can I talk to J Mads? I don't really need to stop any traffic today. However, a cone would be useful. I just can't take this one because the cone trademark might beat me. <laughs> Can I look at it? Looks like he worships them or something. Darling, don't talk to strangers. He looks like a funk. Hey. <laughs> Used syringe. I'm sure it might be handy to contract a life-threatening disease, but to be honest, I think it would just weigh me down. <laughs> yeah, that'll weigh you down. Hey, that's my washing machine. Rest in peace, little guy. You slayed on many a coffee stain. Shh, 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 shh. You're in a better place now. Shh, shh, shh. No, don't speak. Just stay. Um, let's let's talk to. Hello, you creepy mannequin. That's it. Hmm. I could use this for the police head. However, I don't want to find out what the cone has in his bum bag if I <laughs> try anything. Hands off me, you terrible, terrible man! Step away from my wife. When I thought he couldn't get any weather, there we are. Yep. Can I pick up the arm at least? If it was a cyborg arm, yes, I would pick it up. But, but why? It's useful, you can beat people with it! I wish my arm fell off. I would totally replace it with a cyborg arm. Yeah. That would actually be pretty cool. This appears to be the cone's abode. He's dirty. Dirty abode. <laughs> His dirty. Dirty abode. Um. That's the only car left in Krush. There used to be more, and people got hoverboards. Sick! got the radiation sickness. People Not actually anymore. sick. Prodigy child. I find a lot of computer parts for my shop here, but mostly I find self-loathing. <laughs> Fuck's sake. That sign creeps me the hell out. Somehow, I know it's got to do with my past, but I blocked it out mostly with fat beasties and vodka. Yep. The, the prodigy child, the thing we started off the the whole thing with. Laughably large cone. One cone to caution them all. <laughs> One cone to warn them. One cone to bring them all. And in the darkness, stop would them. Think this would be the solution to get rid of the cone. Yeah. Especially with the crane hanging conveniently over him. But it is most definitely not. Why? I thought I had to get into this and use this to get- oh, fuck's sake. Come on, game. You're making things hard for me. Do I have to leave and come back? Fine. I'll go to my fucking shop then and see if there's anything here. Ah, oh, what is that? Jeez. Someone broke my door and window. 
Goshki, why do I even have you in here? You've been drinking again, haven't you? <laughs> God damn it, you're so hideously <laughs> cute. I could never stay mad at you. <laughs> Looks like whoever broke in left a note at least. Courteous, courteous dick. <laughs> Igorski, what even is this? It looks like a tomato had sex with Dickbot and had a baby. That is my dog Igorski. He is the most beautiful dog in all of Kush. Mainly because he is only dog. But he is my dog. Yeah. Ruff. yeah. Ruff. He's so cute. Uh, use. I can't really use him. All he does is drink vodka and eat kielbasa. My kielbasa sausage has just got to perform. Now get it on. What a nice asshole. He Thanks, man! Alone. I've been bleaching it. Hello, proprietor of computers for sale. I'm looking for an individual named Paradigm. He is hideous. Hey, you might know him. While knocking on your door, I accidentally slipped and broke through your door. I then accidentally searched everything inside. My mobile is broken, so I will come back to contact you. Sorry about the door, I tried to fix it. I touched this clip art of a cool son to say sorry. Aqua, Dupa Genetics Henchman. Oh, praise the sun. Also, people told me that dupa means ass or butt or something in Polish. That's nice. And the dupa logo is like two circles like this, which ends up looking like an ass. That's a nice one though. Also, I think I then accidentally searched everything inside. It's like, it's not my fault, officer. I accidentally slipped and my dick went in his ear. It's not, and then it went out and in again. It's not my fault. Fine. Fuck bag. I'm already using it for insurance fraud. Uh, I... I mean... Uh, uh, I have no uh, idea where my cavern disappeared to. <laughs> uh, this is a new one. <laughs> uh, radio. Let's use. Let's check out what's on the radio. I really love the, the art style. Like the shading and everything is super nice. Whoa, 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 welcome! This is Advertisement Radio, where we play advertisements all day, every day, from around the world. From around the world! Around, around the, the world! world. You spend every last cent of your savings, and then your wife leaves you. Taking your dog. Taking your favorite hat. Taking your hemorrhoid donut cushion. Eventually leaving Sorry. you to heat up a can of beans with your butane lighter. And then you're left staring at your blank wall because your TV was taken too. Okay, let's listen to Weird Dude. Enough. Be realistic here. I think it's a gross misuse of public resources. We have Baba Yaga witch parking spaces, but not handicapped ones. What that kind voice of sounds familiar. What is that? Why do they even drive? They literally can fly. They think just because they can curse people and shit, they can just do what they want. That voice sounds very familiar. Like, here's an example. Just before I personally was cursed. Oh, yeah. These are the fat beatsies I've been waiting for. Okay, let's just leave. I could spend all day listening to that, but I have shit to do, and I'm gonna look at my EP. It was a dark time trying to pay the bills. I try not to Fat beats to work out by. <laughs> Pure ethanol. Let's drink it. The generator is full enough for now. I can get at least four death metal albums out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Stick in those fucking blast beats, dude. It's the transcript from the advertisement radio station. I was hoping to get some dope audio samples from it, but mostly it was more procrastination. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll come back to this if... Ooh, Liliana, local Baba Yaga. Witch. Hello, I'm Liliana, your local Baba Yaga witch. Offering my services on the weekend. Half price. Neighbors on your nerves? I'll curse them. Half price. Can't find a husband or wife? Buy morally questionable but romantic love potion. Half price. Hate your husband? Buy erectile dysfunction potion. Half price. Call 058984982 for a price today. Can I get you to get the, the cone trademark? Uh, tax evasion to game, fighting icons. This Sunday at the Motorplex, fighting icons. We bring back blah, blah, blah. Right. What, the, what am I gonna use? Um, there's a cone here. Uh, Sorry. I need to distract him first before I can use the cone. Oh, do I have anything? He likes vodka. Aha! There you go, Igorski. Igorski, lunchtime. 
He must not be hungry. Oh wait, this vodka is only 40%. I need to make it stronger somehow. Ethanol! Pick it up! Thinner mixed with ethanol. Essential for your everyday needs. There we go! Yes! Okay, now put that in this. Before doing this, I do not recommend drinking paint thinner. Unless, of course, you have a stomach of horrifying mutant dog. Yeah, you have a little dick butt. There we go, that's the stuff. Igorski, lunch time. <laughs> oh, he's fucking gross. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jesus. I hope I didn't give him too much. Igorski, are you okay? Nice, Hells Wagon. <laughs> <laughs> Good dog. <laughs> okay, now let's pick it up. Sweet! Still don't really know what that does. I mean, yeah. We could go back to. Ooh, dupe organizer. Ooh! Use. Masiek K. Occupation Sewer Dweller. Man, the cartoons really made it. It seem a lot more glamorous living in the sewers. I've been down here now for three months looking for a rat to teach me martial arts, but all of them are pacifists. Talk about politics. What the hell, man? What kind of politics do rats have to worry about? Good question, bro. Oh, there it is, the dupe uh, thing. It looks like a butt. Life tips. If you have a tough decision to make, hyperventilate into a paper bag. Oh, man. I wonder if we're gonna go back now and use this cone to do something with this guy. That would be a waste of a perfectly good cone. I think I could use it to distract him somehow. Okay. Use the cone on the fan. One must not abuse the pet. Use the cone on the crane. One must not abuse. Okay, not abuse the power of caution. Put it on his wife. One must not abuse the power of caution. I'm just gonna keep using it on everything. One must not. For fuck's sake. I hope he doesn't mind if I take it. Oh! Like stealing can from a comatose. I can take the rocket ship! Oh, I should have been going around picking up everything! Instead of just look at, or looking at it. So thingy wants everyone uses that line, it's not rocket science. I've always wondered how it must feel for actual rocket scientists. Me too, you know? actually. How many have broken down <laughs> emotionally? It is like rocket science! So many times at dinner parties. So to make the rocket fly, and where did we see a rocket launch pad? That's right, but servatory. Let's go all the way back up. At least fast travel works that way. Can I, can I put this here? Because he said he wants to see things fly. Yes! Is there something inherently wrong launching something that the con has psychologically personified into ultimate destruction? Nah, then fucking the head of his wife to trick a drug dealer into thinking I murdered a police officer? Most people would say yes. They probably would be right. Nah, fucking! It. It's all good, baby. Don't even, don't even sweat it. It doesn't seem to be working. Dude. Yeah, go! Go! Woo! Is he gonna freak out? Is he gonna have an existential crisis when he sees it? <laughs> the fucking music. I am the gold. I am the gold. <laughs> this is all he does in his spare time. Well, that didn't get very far, did it? It's cool looking, though. It looks like there's something in the cloud back there. Hey, what the hell is that? Just no 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 Okay, let's get back to the junkyard and take the wife the wife's head. Sorry Alright, finally I can take your head. What the hell? 
It's not coming off. Detachable my ass. I need to get it off somehow. Ah, balls. Can I use my, my knife? Finally. My dreams are coming true. I get to sever a head with a serrated spoon. <laughs> That's not cool. A few hours later. <laughs> the cone and my... The beet guy, the eggplant. Wow. That only took me eight hours to cut through with the crush army spoon. I was estimating at least ten. It's pretty good. Swiss army knife. Yeah, crush army knife is better. Even though it's not a knife, it's actually a spoon. Okay, we're well, gonna leave this episode here. We got a lot of we got a lot of stuff done. We have a head. Uh, can I combine it's it with my this? Very own decapitated police head. Time to bring it to the drug dealer. Yeah. We have a decapitated police head. We, okay, to sum up, we went to a drug dealer's house. He said he didn't believe that we weren't a cop. So he told us to get a decapitated police head. So then we went off and we went to the butt observatory to see, to scan the area, to see if we could see what we could see. Then we went to the junkyard where we met the, tr the, the cone. Trademark. And his wife, his beautiful wife, uh, Matilda, the mannequin. And then we, we ended up setting a cone on fire into space all over the sky. It freaked out the cone. Trademark. And then he went oh, looking after it into the field. Then I cut off his wife's head and now I'm bringing it back. I put a hat on it and now I'm bringing it back to the drug dealer. Just to get some space to us so I can bring it back to Drooly McGee so he can give me the floppy disk so I can put it into the John 3000 to stop the place melting down. Have, have I got that right? There's probably some more bizarre semantics in the middle of that that I'm forgetting. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch that like button in the face like a boss and. I think it's not <laughs> Thank you guys, and I will see all you dudes. Let's go! There's absolutely no way that anybody, like, the fuck, dude, get out! They're fucking ready! They're already flexing! Shit's about to go down! Right, okay, let's go, let's start this. I am the call! Trademark. <laughs>